Let's compute 2 times 3 plus 5. Be careful, there's a multiplication and an addition. And the math rule book says you multiply before you add. So we first multiply 2 times 3. This leaves us with 6 plus 5. And when you add 6 plus 5, you get 11. But what if we run into a math situation where we need to first add 3 and 5 and then multiply by 2? How do you write this down? Hmm. Don't worry. Everything's under control. In cases like these, you use parentheses. Here's the rule. First, do the calculations inside the parentheses. So we first add 3 and 5, since it's inside the parentheses. This leaves us with 2 times 8. There's nothing left to do inside the parentheses, so we can get rid of them. And finally, 2 times 8 equals 16, and we're done. Let's do one more example. Let's compute this. Before we start, imagine you were reading this math problem to a friend. If you just said 3 times 4 minus 1, then your friend would write this down. But this is wrong. We have to say something to our friend to let them know there are parentheses around the 4 minus 1. Here's how you would say it. 3 times the quantity of 4 minus 1. When you say the quantity, that's a clue that what follows next is inside parentheses. Let's go ahead and compute 3 times the quantity of 4 minus 1. We first do the stuff inside the parentheses. 4 minus 1 equals 3. So we're left with 3 times 3. And don't forget, you can get rid of the parentheses once you're done with everything inside. 3 times 3 equals 9, and we're done.